How's it going, people? Welcome back to another episode of the Here's the Crack podcast. Bit of a different one today. We're going to deep dive into the topic of uh, sextortion. So basically, sextortion is a cyber-enabled crime during which victims are lured into sharing intimate images or performing sexual acts in front of a webcam. Unbeknown to the victims, their actions are actually being recorded and used by criminals who then use the video footage in an attempt to blackmail the individual. This is quite a serious topic. Um, a lot of people affected by this, obviously. Um, so basically, we've pulled up a couple of bits of resources um, if you are affected by this from the PSNI website um, if you're in Northern Ireland. So basically, obviously, if you're affected by any of this, the first thing you can do is report it. Uh, There's lots of resources on this site in terms of how to protect yourself and stuff um, and then support for if you are a victim of this. Um, So we definitely recommend if you're listening to this and you obviously have been affected by this, we'll put the link in the bio. Go check it out. There's plenty of resources on there. Um, Earlier this week, we caught up with um, Nathan McErlean, uh, who has done a couple of reports. Um, I think he was on BBC News and stuff, and he's done another couple of podcasts who he himself was a victim of this. Um, So we caught up with him, and yeah, we'll get into that about his experience, and hopefully he has some good things to follow that up on. (laughs) Good advice. (laughs) Good advice. But yeah, let's flick over to that conversation, and we'll be back. Here we go. Nathan. Welcome to the episode. Nice How's to it you going? Ah, not too bad. And um, we've we've obviously had you on the podcast. So we we did a wee bit before you came, just along the lines of like what obviously sextortion and stuff is. And obviously, we wanted to get you on the podcast just to kind of discuss you fell victim to this. Yeah, you've talked about it quite openly. Oh, yeah. and uh, I think that's why I kind of wanted to get you on because obviously there may be someone listening to this. I mean, you're you said yourself before we started hitting record. There's people who message you um, yeah. who have like even. Yeah, someone who messaged you like today you said yeah, literally about 10 15 minutes ago la- yeah. as i was walking in here i got a message and then yeah. i was like doing the quick reply being like this is uh, how i dealt with it and he yeah. he seemed to have took yeah. advice of what i already said previously because yeah. he was already kind of on the ball yeah with it and i was just like i think we should go back to the start yeah. and just talk about your experience and then obviously you'll get into like you posted the tiktok and obviously uh, got you uh, so t- take us back to that day what happened literally, literally i was on a on a lad's holiday right as um, as uh, most people have been on lad's holiday most right. of the time was just was just airlocked yeah and I got this ad on snapchat and it was ad by search right so I was like oh this person's actually typed in my name yeah and I've already had like I think she either might have seen me on my Instagram was public at the time right and then I was uh-huh. like, already had a few TikToks up right so I was like oh she's probably seen me there or something or I don't know where it's, maybe I met her last night don't actually know who this person was but yeah, I was like, I'll accept it anyway. Did you like, did you have early. your Snapchat and your Instagram or? I have no, no my Snapchat's just oh, Snapchat's just my name. I was gonna say that. Then. Yeah. I was like, oh, fuck it. Mm-hmm. It's just my name anyway, so it's easily to find me. And yeah, I, like, I yeah. have like a pile of people have requested to follow me, and I'm just like, maybe we should change my Snapchat name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just my ordinary name. Same as my Instagram. Same as my everything yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't bother me, you know. Yeah. And um, yeah, so she added me, and then we're snapping away, and every snap, like I've had fake accounts add me before. Yeah, and they're so like. You can easily you can tell you can tell like identify. either it's either their birthday that day because they've literally just yeah. made the account yeah. that day or yeah. their Snapchat score is like a very thousand, low, yeah. very low. Yeah. Or when they send you a snap, it doesn't kind of cover up the the full screen. It kind of just like it's almost if it's like from the camera roll. Picture pasted mm-hmm. through, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right yeah. There, which I don't actually know. How it's like how do they do that? It might come up as like a red a red snap as if they sent it there now. But like this here girl, yeah. her I, their Snapchat score was nearly the same the same as mine. I've had a well, nearly ten years Snapchat. Yeah, and um, nearly the same as mine. Wasn't birthday that day. Every snap she sent me covered the full screen, and each snap was different. Mm-hmm. I was just kind of messaging away at her, just here and then, like maybe three or four a day, and then it was mm-hmm. going on for about a week or so. And got home that night. It was about twelve a.m. when I got home, mm-hmm. and she started getting frisky one night, and I was like, "Here we go, finally." <laughs> Happy days. Like, uh-huh. Let's see what's going on here. And just, Send Hit the jackpot, you that's, thought? That's, I was like, yep, yeah. sending me nudes. I was like, it's going to do me tonight. And then yeah. I, um, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, all right, so she sent me nudes and everything that she wanted to see me. So I was like, well, I, only have, I only have one thing to offer. Like, There's only <laughs> really one thing I can give you. So um, sent a picture of that, sent a picture of my dick. Right. Uh, and I was like, yep, captioned it. Never captioned it, guys. No, yeah. And also, no face, no case. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would actually recommend don't send one, but um, yeah. don't send one <laughs> yeah. full stop. But 
yeah so i was just like done that there and then she wanted a it's like it wasn't good enough she wanted like a, a full body one of me yeah was the first one without the face it, the, my face wasn't in any of them oh the one yeah, it was just right. like, like me lying in bed downwards like just Mm. The, the typical, typical. Not, the typical thing. I mean not the most f- flattering angle for any gentleman I suppose oh, yeah no well yeah. when there's blood pumping it is it's, 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 it's already it's already pointing like yeah. it's like, yeah. like, 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 like full mass like uh, full mass I was just like <laughs> damn, baby arm the pitch or the tennis pitch I was like <laughs> I was like, right, here we go, and then um. So what, what was? Did I just stop you right there. What was going through your mind at this point? Was she asking um for face pics as well, and you were just like, yeah, well, she wanted. You just kept firing top down. Yeah, well, she only wanted. I only sent her the one actual. <laughs> yeah, oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Explicit yeah, yeah, pic. Yeah, like yeah. I only sent her the one so, so, dude, mm-hmm. and then she wanted a uh, a full body nude of me, and I was kind of like, fuck. I was like at the stage now. I was like two in the morning, and I goes, I'm not getting out of bed. <laughs> I'm not getting out of bed and I goes I don't have a full body size mirror I was just pure bullshit and like and then yeah, yeah. she goes <laughs> so oh, get your tripod out <laughs> yeah. she's like I'll oh, just go take one I was like I don't have a full body size mirror and she's like just take a bo- picture of your body and get your face in it and as soon as she said that I was like oh fuck oh, that's a bit sus yeah, yeah. weird I, I was like no I think I'm alright and then <laughs> next thing you know boom screenshots were sent to me from my face from a week prior when I was actually on holiday so just like an ordinary snapshot off my face Right. Screenshots of my followers on Instagram, um, and a screenshot of my dick pic I just sent her. Fuck. And I was just like, as soon as she, ha- as soon as that happened, I was like, oh, I was like, this is actually happening. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I cannot, I cannot believe this is actually happening. And then she sent the paragraph being, I'm going to send this to all your followers and ruin your life. Right. But if you send me three thousand pound, I'll delete it and not send it to anybody. Right. And then I was like. I need to talk my way out of this here. Mm. So I goes, um, go ahead, send it. Most people have already seen it anyway. <laughs> and, Poor me. Yeah, and then she was, uh, I'm actually going to ruin your life, Nathan. And I goes, oh, she addressed you by name? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's weird. Know, That's serious. That's <laughs> weird. Like. And I was like, oh my God. And she was like, I'm actually going to ruin your life. And then I goes, um, sure, I have an OnlyFans. You just got free content. I don't have an OnlyFans, but I thought I just I'm gonna bullshit her, yeah. bullshit it here, and then um, she goes, "Nathan, I'm gonna send this to everybody." And I goes, "Go for it, do it." And the next thing you know, you just got added into a group chat on Instagram, and I was like, "Huh?" <laughs> I was <laughs> like, "Oh like, shit!" And then played her bluff, and she yeah. So I went on to Instagram and seeing that I was in a group chat with like nine other people, and was it j- people you knew, friends? Well, see, thing because my Instagram was public at the time. Yeah, I had like a pile of people following me that I didn't actually know. Yeah, and but I didn't notice my wee sister oh, was in the group chat. Oh shit! And I was just like, what the fuck? And then I was like, why is her why is her profile picture look different? And then I was like, oh thank God, it's her old account. But there were still other people in. Like I mean, yeah. I was just thinking to myself like if she was just randomly cha- or like tapping people that follow me mm-hmm. out there, she must have missed my sister's name by like just one tap like oh added the wrong one yeah. and I was yeah. like oh my god that was a close one but then I just as soon as all the pictures all were sent in of my face and my dick and everything I was like report child pornography report child pornography easily confused for a child anyway yeah. Yeah. and um, <laughs> I was like report this report that reported the account and blocked it and then made my account on Instagram private because I kind of thought to myself what if there's somebody with her and they're still able to go onto my Instagram and see my followers and just send it Mm-hmm. via a different yeah. profile yeah. so yep. I was like I'll make my account private and um, yeah that was kind of the that was literally the end of it but then a part of me thought like well because they already have the screenshots of like they had sent me two screenshots of who I was following or yeah. following me I was like yeah. oh they already had the they already have them they already have their names so I goes thought I'd put up a story on Instagram explaining what I'd done I was like you know what? I was going to cut to the case or cut yeah. to the chase here I was like this is what I've done don't accept the follower Anna Dalton Miller um mm-hmm. Send her a dick pic. I was that the name of the yeah, fake yeah, yeah. Emma uh, Miller? Was it? Yeah, Anna Don Miller. Or something. I was like that there because I think I have. I went through my archive of all my Snapchat stories and I ended up finding it because yeah. it was last August. And um, yeah, I just I was like, don't accept this follower. Um, again, blackmail for a nude I sent. Um, yeah. Brackets. I'm an idiot. I know. Um, don't accept her or do accept her and look at a picture of my dick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then that was really it. Posted that there. It was now like two in the morning. And I went to bed. I was driving to Galway the very next morning. And I was getting like, as I was driving down, people were obviously waking up to see my story. And I was getting like a pile of responses. Mm-hmm. All kind of positive, being like, hope 
I would say 90% of the girls that responded were like, oh my God, are you okay? So it's just like kind of concerned. The yeah. other 10% who were like really close to me were like, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah. people who probably knew they could be blunt with you were yeah. probably like, I'm just going to tell him how it is because you, you probably would have expected that. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Like, expect that there. And then a few people were being like, they were blackmailing the wrong person. And I was like, yeah, yeah. 100%. It was like, because don't want to get in bars and I wouldn't really yeah. pay them anything anyway. Not that I could afford to pay them three grand. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then I would say vice versa, 90% of the lads Mm-hmm. They responded to it were like laughing away, laugh, laughing faces. Yeah. Like, King move there or like get, get on yeah. top of it. And then ten percent of the lads were like, "Hope you're okay." <laughs> Concerned. Yeah. Yeah. So it was just like, yeah. so it made me see like the different perspectives on how like a girl would see it yeah. towards how Boys a, way, a lad would a see lot, it. Yeah. Like a lot be like laughing about it. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's kind of how it went. And then that was really the end of it. Yeah. For a year mm-hmm. until like recently, that was like August maybe. A couple mm-hmm. months ago, I kind of put up the TikTok about it because mm-hmm. it was brought up again. Did Did you contact the police or did you contact any authorities? Or see, I nipped it as soon as it happened. Nobody's seen it, so yeah. I was like, I'm not going to contact the police. I, I was told, like some of the friends responded to me, like you should go report this to PSNA. Yeah, and I goes, oh, I'm, I'm actually busy. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. I'm literally driving to Galway, and I was like, yeah. they're like, oh, you can go stop with the guards, and like the guard, they will, they can do it as well, and I'm like. I'm kind of in a rush so I didn't do it I nipped it as soon as album. nobody's seen it so I didn't see the point in reporting it even yeah. though that account is probably done multiple times mm-hmm. if their Snapchat score was that high I'm saying yeah. they God knows how many times they've done it Yeah, but um, I didn't report it but I would if I was giving advice to anybody else I'd say to report it because I'd like it turns out it's like a, it's a giant not a giant organisation but like there's it's usually like organisations like a room full of people yeah, that's their job. Oh, yeah, that's their job kind of thing. You know when you get them phone calls, call center sort of thing. Yeah, call center 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 around. Thing. I, yeah. I watched the. I watched the. It was actually a guy from here did a documentary on Seen catfishing, this? and I watched oh. it last night, and and it like went into all these like big companies in Dubai and all like rent out big office blocks, and there's just people that's just literally employed they look for it not not really anything to do with like the whole extortion thing but it's more the extortion side of things yeah. they look for you know young successful meals with less than 10k followers they norm they they look for specific things like they must have pets they must have you know good jobs and then they basically like use their profile to create another profile yeah. and then message predominantly females to basically get them to like invest in bitcoin and what and whatnot but like it's mm-hmm. mad to think that the likelihood that someone has literally just by chance got your username and just went let's give yeah. this a whirl mm-hmm. and i mean it just goes to show if you cast the net out far enough you're gonna get someone who yeah. bites and i would say the likelihood of so many people who pay the money oh yeah mm-hmm. and the suffering probably doesn't end no because yeah. like as i was saying to you guys earlier is like if you pay them, there's actually no proof that they've actually deleted that photo. On yeah, screen. yeah. Like, they could literally come back in a month, six months. They could, they could always just come back to you and be like, here, I still actually have this photo of you. Send me more money. Yeah, yeah. It's like, there's nothing stopping them from doing that there. And then you're constantly like, in this cycle. Like, I would never give them any leverage over you. Like, yeah. If you show that you're, like, really worried about it or, like, pleading to them to not do it, then they kind of know they already have you. Yeah. And, like, yeah. oh, we have this guy. He's scared of this stuff. But, like, if you act like, I would say if you... I don't want to put myself down as a, like a role model, but like, I didn't really I act like I didn't care. Yeah, I didn't yeah. really care, but I also didn't want people to see. Yeah, but that's what they're playing on is obviously yeah. the fact that you do care and you're worried about people yeah. seeing yeah. it, whereas you've yeah. said the opposite thing. You didn't care and stuff. But yeah, so like if they have the average of you, then they, they're they going to use that thing yeah. against yeah. you. Like I had people messaging me saying that they were paying them. Somebody was paying me. I think they paid like a couple of hundred and all that other stuff and mm-hmm. I was like fuck I was like there's nothing stopping that person coming back yeah, yeah wanting uh, more wanting more money yeah. yeah I was like just the best thing to do is report block the account and yeah report to the police or the authorities mm-hmm. um, that's the only that's like literally what I would would have done yeah. but I just reported and blocked and I kind of ended up just, nobody seen my photos I ended up as soon as it happened yeah. yeah and yeah whatever happened after that if people didn't see the photo you just roll with the punches for a yeah. while. No, yeah. Nobody's going to think. People will forget after. Yeah, it's not the end yeah. of the world. Because I kind of, when I put up the TikTok explaining it, I was kind of thinking about, this obviously can happen young ones in school as well. And like, people do end up doing things to themselves because yeah. of it. Yeah. And you're like, I just want to let people know, like it wasn't the end of the world. It's not yeah. the end of the world. People do yeah. forget about it. Like you got to think in a year's time, is people still going to be talking about that there? It's like the best thing to do is just laugh. I say, laugh it off. Yeah, and roll with the punches, and it's all forgot about in no time. Like, yeah. yeah. What was the mindset at the time then, too? Whenever it happened, like, 
I think a lot, obviously, a lot of people will probably just shy away and try and ignore it for a while. But you were mm. straight out there, like putting it out there. Like, oh, was yeah. it, would you say there was an aspect of like panic, and that's what you thought you had to do, or I, I would say like a part of me just when I did see that this the thought came to me, like because oh, my mind was racing as soon as it happened. I was like, I need to get on top of this here, I need to get ahead of this here, I need to get ahead of the curve. Yeah. So I was like, I'm just gonna post it up, say what I've done. People will, like, no, like who's gonna come back to you and actually like start roasting you and slagging you off and everything it's, yeah. like, it's kind of yeah. it's a kind of a serious topic it's like really no bad would have came from it mm-hmm. and um like there's help out there for anybody but like i was like if you do need help with it like there's always um helplines and all that there you can chat to yeah but i just wanted to get ahead of the curve my mind was racing and i was like what yeah. am i gonna do yeah. so i was like i put up the story get ahead of it so everybody kind of knows what's going on instead of somebody just randomly getting added into the group chat and being like oh i know that guy i was like yeah. oh all right, that's a, there's a dick. Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah. get ahead of it. So were, was there ever a point where you were like, like in a sort of tizzy and t- well, obviously you were in a tizzy, but was there mm. ever a point where, or is this just sort of your general calm this personality where my, you're like, they hey, literally blackmailed this. people told me like they blackmailed the worst person because I've, I've done stuff, done stuff out there more embarrassing than the yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just like, so I didn't really bother, like it bothered me, but I kind of kept my cool because like, there, I've been caught out. I yeah, like, I was like, but really, it wasn't really that. Like, I wouldn't really be embarrassed. Yeah, like, I'm not embarrassed. I'm kind of guy. The thing yeah. that I'm interested in is like you said, they this person added you, and you talked like before. By the time this person added you, and then in between that and you sending the picture, there was four days, and it was a couple. Of, like, was what like, was, was the like, what was the conversation? Like, was there ever at any point where you went, "Who the hell is this?" Or part of me was look like, at yeah. looked for an Instagram to try and. Yeah, so see she, if this was a real person. So there was actually already a red flag, and I kind of like ignored it because I think it was just that's holiday and yeah. morning. Yeah, and um, the Instagram name was different from the Snapchat name. Right, and I, yeah, I, I questioned her on that. There, the surnames were the same, but the first names were different. And I goes, "Why is your, why oh, is the two guys have a different name?" And she goes, "Oh, I use my middle name for my Instagram, but I use my first name on Snapchat." And I was like, "I adds up, okay." Yeah, <laughs> even though in my head I was like, "That doesn't really add up," but. Yeah. That's all but, but even stuff like you've addressed the two of them and they give you a decent answer like it's yeah. it is believable like yeah that's i was like fair enough i i don't even remember what we were chatting about because it's not like we were talking consistently throughout the whole time it was maybe like a few snaps one day and then maybe the next day maybe like one yeah. or two or such and such but like it's the fact that it still went like there was still a like conversation going on for about a week or so i was yeah. like Oh, and then when that happened, uh, when she sent me the nudes and everything, I was like, "All right." Was her yeah. face and all in like the Snapchat? Oh thing? yeah, faces, face, and, like it was the same face, same smile. Like, and like, every photo was different, and they were like, they were good quality pictures and stuff. But like, it's not like to the point. I remember I was chatting to my mum about it not too long ago. I think it's before I was talking to BBC about it, oh, yeah. and I was um, talking to my mum the night before, and I was like, I'm still at the point where I don't know if that was like a fake kind or if it was that actual girl. Yeah. yeah blackmailing me i yeah. was like i'm about 90 percent sure it was a fake account but it's just the fact that it was like an a star fake account i was yeah. like what? have have you ever tried to like even this sounds really weird but like reverse google search the image to see if anything else popped up or yeah, have no, you ever, as curiosity ever got the better I, off you're like i want to take these guys <laughs> down <laughs> um, no, I don't have any photos off. You just open whatsoever. a door and there's all your dick pics on the table <laughs> being like, you're like, I told you I'd find you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that dick pic's mine. <laughs> yeah, that. I'll, I'll sign it for you now. <laughs> but no, um, I have no photos off like, yeah. them whatsoever. The only thing I have is the archive story mm-hmm. from what I put up that night. Right. And that's the only reason I remember her name. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, because I was going through there not long ago, and I was mm-hmm. like, "Oh yeah, that's her name there, Anna Dot Miller." Oh, can't find the account now. I've tried to look it up; it's gone. Yeah. So yeah. it's obviously been took down. So I think Instagram was like on the ball because, see, when I remember seeing another person's name in the group chat, and I messaged them the next day as I was like driving down to Galway, and I go here. Did by any chance did you see anything? And she goes, "What are you talking about?" And I was like, "You're added into the group chat." Yeah. She's like, I'm not a part of any group chat, and I was like. Fair enough. I was like, right. So Instagram was on the ball that night. So probably good. Not to t- not to take away from it. Probably good that it was like the 
early hours of the morning yeah oh yeah where 100%. like people mm. probably woke up didn't see a thing but like if yeah. it was midday you know a there. midday Escapade, that probably <laughs> wouldn't, you know what I mean? You shouldn't but be sending dick pics midday. Anyway. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Get job, back to work. Got jobs <laughs> <the day>. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, have you like? And as many people reached out to you who've like been, you know, victim of this. Oh, do, like any yeah. sort of serious ones that you've heard of, or like anything that you're like, shit, that does not sit. Like, yeah, no, I I was off work the next day and th- after I put up the TikTok. And thank God because I felt like a counselor the entire day. Uh, the amount of messages I was getting. Yeah, and the stories I was told, like I had a story there, and there was um, a guy that he's like, you say bi curious kind of thing, mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. and he ended up sending expressive pictures to another guy that was bi curious, mm-hmm. and then that same guy blackmailed him because apparently he was an actual like well known mm-hmm. homosexual, like a gay man. Um, in case you don't know what a homosexual is, I don't know why I explained that. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's um, good to elaborate, though. <laughs> just to elaborate. But, um, yeah, and he started blackmailing him and saying he's going to send it to all his friends and everything. Let them all know that he's gay and everything. Cause, and and this he, guy, was this just, like, a normal guy doing this? Uh, a normal guy. And then Fuck the me. guy that was messaging me saying, like, he doesn't plan, he doesn't want to come out of the closet and he doesn't plan on coming out of the closet. Like, he's literally only... Yeah. Like, he's just kind of bi curious. Yeah. And um, I, thought that, I thought that was a mad story. And then... Well, there was another one where it happened to a schoolboy down south, mm-hmm. right. and he was doing his leaving cert, and he didn't even want to. He didn't want to go to school, to mm-hmm. the point, and his parent, his mum, ended up sleeping in his bedroom floor every night because she was too scared of in case he like killed you know, himself, yeah, killed himself or something. Yeah. And then oh. she had that boy, not far from mine, I think Dungannon, a few years ago, and he done the same. Like he ended up unfortunately mm-hmm. killing himself life, over. Yeah. And um, that's that was like the main, when I put up the TikTok about it. I was kind of hemming and hawing over should I put up for like a year or so and then I thought it was quite a long winded story mm-hmm. to put up on TikTok and um, I always thought like for ones in school they think it's the end of the world yeah yeah. So, and then I always re- revert back to that story and I'm like yeah so when I did put the TikTok up I was like and I seen the response that I got I was like mm-hmm. I didn't expect it to kind of get as many views as such as it did but like yeah. I'm still getting people messaging me as I said earlier on about it who've who recently just seen it yeah do you realize yourself, like before posting it, how big a problem it was, or did it open your eyes a bit as well in terms of how common it is? Like? Yeah, no, open my eyes. I didn't realize how co- like you know, you hear about it, you hear, like, yeah, but you never really hear about it locally. Like I don't know anybody local that it happened to. Yeah, and um, when it happened, I was just then when I put it up, and then I, the amount of feedback I was getting, I was like, I didn't realize it was as common as it was. And then yeah. one like bigger platforms like BBC and Channel Four got in touch with me, and I got a few statistics from them. I was like, I don't know. I didn't expect this here whatsoever. I was mm-hmm. like, "That's mad." And didn't think it was big as it was. I knew BBC told me that there's been over six hundred like accounts of it th- in the last year. Fuck. And when I found that there, I was like, "You realize that's only really the tip of the iceberg because a lot of people don't say or report it. Yeah. Like I didn't report it. Yeah. But um, so there's a lot. Obviously, a lot more people like me out there won't report it. Who yeah. actually like suffer in silence. Mm-hmm. So there's obviously a lot more people out there, and that's PSNI, so that's Northern Ireland, like that's local. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but I, that's really there. It's mad because there's not a lot of people who, as I say, like are well. There's people who report it, but there's probably not a lot of people like yourself who just come out and be like, "This has happened. It's yeah. shit." But like, the world keeps spinning. You that's need to keep going, on. and and that's that. Like, and and even like the likes of yourself, like you've you've had a lot of you know you've done interviews and stuff yourself. And is this kind of something you're wanting to like? keep going on with in terms of you know spreading a bit of awareness or is it kind of is there a side off you that just is like i want to park this and, and move on see that it's kind of like i do want to spread awareness on it but then i don't want to be known as like the dick guy yeah <laughs> <laughs> um but like yeah so I, I think after channel four it was I agreed to do channel four and then it was the whole process of a flight over to england a train then another train then the lift they had organized for me because my trains were running late it left without me so then I was stranded with my phone dead in Leeds and I was like I don't even know where I'm staying so I had to find a, unfortunately I had to find a bar um, <laughs> I was like oh no I had to fall under here <laughs> why is my phone charged and then um, but yeah it was the whole process of that there and I thought like that was fairly exhausting and then I've had radio stations and other TV shows that wanted me on and then I think they, they kind of want to do it over Zoom mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, but it's like by the time I'm done work and everything I get home I'm just kind of like I'm reactive and up since like 6am yeah and 
they send me emails and then once I try to send emails back, it's just like the email won't send. And it's like, this is God trying to tell me something. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Like, but like, I'm happy. I'm happy enough, like, spreading awareness on it. Yeah. And like, because you do want people, you want everybody to know it's not the end of the world. Yeah. But I just rather there was an easier way of doing it than actually. Yeah. Move forward. Like, as I was saying, that there was that there, when I was on Channel 4, there was a girl on with me who works on like a revenge porn helpline. Mm-hmm. And they've recently contacted me and they wanted me to go to the House of Commons. Or right. they want me to discuss something. Or they want me to talk up about it and they invited me over to go to the House of Commons to chat about it. And I was like, I don't really know what I want to say in there. Yeah. But, um, is that like in an attempt to pass laws and stuff in relation I, to I, it? Or? Genuine. I haven't, I read the email or read the message, but I haven't actually replied to it yet. And then there's other radio stations that want to have me on. Mm-hmm. But they kind of want to do Zoom calls and everything. And I'm just kind of like, I'll get to this here when I get to yeah. it. But then I realized, I, oh, I always remember it about it I like per time and I was like I need to remember that when I get home so I can respond yeah. to that there and then by the time I get home I just never I just yeah. it's out of my mind and then so actually when I get home tonight I might respond to some, <laughs> <laughs> I might respond to a few of them but yeah no it's like I don't mind spreading awareness about it like coming and doing a podcast I guess here yeah. it's grand there's another thing Nexus just up the road there they've messaged me and they want me to do a conf- go to a conference kind of thing that Bar Best is hosting which I'll be there and it's like I'll probably respond to that there because it seems yeah. local enough and handy enough yeah. to do yeah. but um yeah, as I said, like, don't mind spreading awareness on it. It's a lot. To, it's a lot to take on your shoulders, like, as the yeah. you know, because yeah. you've you know, you've I think you've done your part in terms of you know s- telling your story, you know, yeah. of it, and it's easy for me to say because you've come on our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, by the way. But at the same time, these it's guys like, are the problem. Yeah. The, <laughs> these guys are the problem. Yeah. But like at the <laughs> same time, it's one of them. Th- it's really. It was. Oh, I want to say I've messaged. A countless a number of people to come on this podcast and that yours was the most trickiest one because I'm basically like here lad yeah. come on here and talk about the time we said a dick pic and uh, then you're just immediately like yeah no bother mate and I was like side <laughs> yeah I was just like I was like here's the crack <laughs> crack is an Irish word and then I was looking at it I was like I was like oh I was like yeah I'll come on <laughs> I was like funny enough I'm actually trying to start my own podcast <laughs> publicity <laughs> publicity I was like Zoe we need to get this out no I need to talk about this <laughs> but like another thing I, I kind of wanted to address was like obviously from your side you you, the, you sent the picture obviously got the, res- got the response blackmailed whatever and you dealt with it in your way but like afterwards like what was it like even talking to because obviously you put the TikTok and stuff out there, so mm. you know you probably knew you had to like address it with family. Yeah, was that tough? No, no, not at all. Yeah. Like I think it's just everybody has their expectations of me so far, and right. it's kind of yeah. like it's kind of like oh, it's fucking Nathan. No, yeah, I Nathan's done again here. <laughs> Nathan. Like, oh, Nathan. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, it wasn't hard. Like my mum, she was very supportive through it. Yeah. Like she, she was there chatting to me about it. Like we yeah. joked around the start, and then when I was like by her. Like me and her were by ourselves. She actually was like talking to me about it. And I was like, here, I'm 100. percent Like, I sorry, but I was like, ages ago now, mum. Oh, but yeah. um, thanks for your concern and everything. Like, I, I would say recommend anybody go talk to their family about it because your family is there to support you. Yeah, and they will like they will support yeah. you. Um, hopefully, but yeah, like, most like they will. They're nobody's gonna outcast you for doing that. There, it's like it's a yeah. simple mistake. Yeah, a lot of people have made it. Like, you're not the only one. And like the amount of responses I had, I've had hundreds of responses, and statistics show that it's literally happened to everybody i think it's 90 percent from that revenge porn helpline mm. the girl that was on the tv show with me she said 90 percent of people calling them for help is men yeah because i feel like men are easy we have a lot of males just yeah easier to fill and yeah. Then yeah they'll do it and then they get blackmailed and everything so like not saying it doesn't happen to girls like i feel like yeah. if it does happen to girl i feel like it's probably worse because guys actually like seeing that their stuff yeah whereas nobody likes looking at a, a dick yeah yeah. Um, and yeah yeah so i'll stick out there so i would recommend as always just report it yeah, yeah. Report and blah. there's a couple of resources and stuff i've read this week for, you know obviously specific to where we're at um at the psn website has complete like they've support and like any resource and stuff you you need so obviously we're gonna put this in the in the description and stuff if you need to but obviously it goes without saying um, protecting yourself from this kind of stuff anyone can be a victim obviously and then uh, they've basically just give a couple of things they do not share intimate videos online do not get lured into compromising situations such as removing your clothes or performing intimate acts online always remember that what goes online uh, as you addressed 
it stays online. Mm -hmm. um, be wary about who you invite and accept into invitations on social networking sites. If you don't know them, maybe do a bit of due diligence and look into them and just make sure. And then obviously updating all the privacy settings on your social networking accounts and um, don't include any sensitive private or confidential information in your profiles. The main thing I just wanted to, to obviously highlight is like support for people who have been a victim of this. Obviously, as you say, the main thing is do not respond and do not pay yeah. is the main thing and end all communicate. You've pretty much, you pretty much done without any resource <laughs> what you should have done in the first place. Yeah, so, I mean... Not just a hat rack. Exactly. Just a hat rack. <laughs> but uh, obviously, as you said, do not respond to any demands, do not pay up, end all communication and blackmailers, do not continue to message them, block the offender. Um, and if you can, confide in a trusted friend or family member. And as you say, if, if that resource isn't available to you, just contact the police on 101. And obviously, there's a bunch of um, stuff is on, on resources and stuff online here that you can go and look at if you're a victim of sextortion. Um, the likes of Lifeline, Samaritans, Victim Support, NI, all of that will be in the link in our bio so or in our description. So if you do need support or anything online out there, just just please go there and, and obviously um, speak to someone. Um, but you mentioned there you started your own podcast. Yeah, it's kind of a rocky road. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, it was a tough lesson. Yeah, uh, it was like when I was listening to this morning, I was like, "That's a tough lesson." Yeah, for anybody, I was like, "Go, go back, go back and listen to our first one. You'll feel yeah. better about yourself." <laughs> well, what, what episodes this here? Is like a this is a hundred and fifty. hundred and fifty. Fifty yeah. something. Because I was literally driving up there. I was listening to the last one. Congratulations on getting married. Well, thank you very much. I was trying to figure out. I was like, because I was listening to listen podcast. I was like, I don't know which one got married. <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> nice. I see the ring. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was listening to it, and then I was also listening to the Am I the Asshole segment, which we actually tried to do last night. Yeah. Just. And then when I listened to yours coming up, I was like, oh my god, they done it as well. But when we tried to do yours, literally just. No prep whatsoever. I was like, I'll find one here. Clicked into it and I was like, yeah. this fucking thing's seven paragraphs long. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, and he had me reading like the start of it and then I was like, how long here? And I was like, yeah. and then I was like, pause the podcast here and then I, I just par three. It were, just par I three. I was reading, I would have been reading like this here. <laughs> <laughs> and I, like, there was the one I chose had like no full stops, no commas, no uh, anything. So like, I was reading a bit of it and I was like, that doesn't make any sense. I was like, what? I was like, oh, yeah. Pause the podcast. Started again, just skipped that completely. Didn't know, didn't know how to edit yeah. or cut it out, so mm -hmm. people were like, I want to know the rest of it. I want to say people, the lads, <laughs> listen to it. I um, want to listen to the rest of it, they're never going to hear it. So I'm going to have to do some prep for this week. Yeah. Because like we were just, I was just, we were literally just went down winging it. Yeah. yeah. And um, there was a dog barking in it. There was hair. You never, never, you know, you can get too caught up in making it look and sound pretty. Just crack yeah. on. Yeah, well, that's grand. it. That's it. Like, we didn't know how to edit. It's like, I said that at the start, it's like, we don't even know how to edit. You're going to get thick. Just yeah. get how it is, and then yeah. we did say there's no structure to that at the moment, but hopefully structure finds itself along the way. Mm -hmm, yeah. And then when I was driving up listening to yours, I was like, they don't know my asshole. And by the way, lad, we're 150 episodes in, and we yeah, just I found know. a structure. <laughs> 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 Literally week, last week we went. We probably need a structure to these <laughs> 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 yes, well, episodes. By the way, I also think from going last week's podcast, yeah, it was definitely the two couple, the the, the ex-wife and the ex-husband creating that situation oh and yes the step yes that I without even asking I was like they're the fucking dickheads here. yeah <laughs> like, How dare that could be a new they, that could be thinking, a new, new guess they're like, the am I the dickhead <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Trying to change the name right arm rule that out before he gets to it message <laughs> 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 is fucking trademark <laughs> trademark <laughs> <laughs> but um, your podcast is called what uh, Cheap Laughs Cheap Laughs yeah. and it's on Spotify it's, it's just on Spotify at the moment hopefully once we figure out how to spread on other platforms we'll do that there it's Literally, you look it up, and it was the wee picture for us that there's just like a turquoise kind of background, and just yeah. says cheap laughs. Cheap buys laughs. By the way, Nathan. We'll put it in the description. Good. And people can go give it a follow. <laughs> give it, give yeah. it a follow. Give don't, it a don't even hate. Okay. <laughs> I'm, already, I'm already hitting it as it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But hopefully, it fi hopefully, it finds Just wait structure. until you put a clip up on TikTok and someone comments and goes. No laughs here. No, no, <laughs> no <laughs> laughs here. And like, then you just lock yourself in their room for, you know. Uh, that's what I said. I was like, I just send his away. I was like, you need to get funnier. You need to yeah. get funnier. I can't carry this on my back the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, there's only so many jokes I could think of <laughs> before getting us cancelled. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully it goes good. Hopefully it goes all right. Well, that's here, it. thank you very much for coming on and obviously sharing your story. As I say, um, we've all the resources and stuff in the description. Uh, go follow yourself your podcast oh yeah follow I, i'm gonna just plug myself here follow the tech talk nathan mackerlin yeah 
you know, you know my Snapchat as well. Yeah. <laughs> You're not getting a dick pics of me. Fool me once. <laughs> Fool me once. <laughs> but um, yeah, Instagram. It's all just Nathan McAleen. Happy days. We'll put it in the link of the bio. So if anybody's listening, um, obviously go in and check it all out and show Nathan some love. Give him a follow and all that there. And uh, yeah, until yeah, the next I'd one. also say, sorry for interrupting there, go but ahead. the best way to not get blackmailed over sending nudes is to not send the nudes in the first place. Yeah. That's, yeah. I think that's the best way to come yeah. across it. Absolutely. Yeah. But it's more like if you do. Yeah. So much follow my See, steps. it's all easy for us because we've all been in relationships for like a couple of good number of years. So I think we would, have, if, if that ever happened, there would be more to worry about than obviously mm-hmm. that. But it's like. That's the thing. I got people who messaged me saying that their ex husband and everyone was blackmailing them over it. So be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> happen anywhere. Bad way to start the march. <laughs> <laughs> like their ex husband and their ex partners, I remember blackmailing them over it. And I'm just like. Jeez. so just stay yeah. clothed at all times stay yeah. clothed like I was like if you are going to send it because that's why I said the ones I was like people send them you can't say like people tell you all the time don't send like your parents are, like never send this or stuff but people still send it mm. it's like just make sure you proper yeah. trust the person and even that that just shows like they proper trusted that person and it still came back and bit them in the ass bit so. them in the ass yeah. 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 but yeah that's the way there that's the, that's my last note on the, yeah. on, the <laughs> on the nude situation the most important <laughs> final thing is just don't don't declothe yourself in front of any, any recording device. Yeah, that's it. Unless you're getting paid. Unless you're only fans. That's right. Unless you're fans. Fair play. Fair enough. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming on. Yeah, it's absolutely no bother. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Okay, on to the next part of the podcast. Community crack. Aaron, you were in charge of that this week. What have yes. you got for us, lad? So, uh, back to the short or the TikTok we had up about uh, Andrew Ryan talking about Belfast being one of the best night outs he's uh, he's been on, and definitely the best night out he's been in Ireland. Somebody was saying, well, not at the price of the pint. Oh. You know? So what would you say would be the average pint? If you were to go out in Belfast, what's 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 the average pint of, of like, lager, like normal beer? It depends how close you get to the city centre. I think it's around six pounds. Would yeah, say, I, would do, I would agree with six yeah. pounds. But five, you, five, five, if you're on the outside, five, like you 50. can get them four or fifty round. Fuck, I don't know I, what you're like I, <laughs> what's bad? It's about five fifty. Is it? I think so. Is it, oh, the like cheapest pint I've seen. The know. cheapest pint is like the SU. Like what honestly, price are they? F- three quid, three four quid. Oh, well, if you're over there, yeah. You well, like to be fair, like I a pint to me now, I wouldn't be surprised if it was any anywhere between five pound fifty and six pound fifty. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be. I'm not jumping for joy. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm equally like that's normal. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about average here. I'm not talking about the most yeah. expensive. About six, yeah, about six. Yeah, what Tommy said. About six point. Yeah, I'd like to know where they're comparing it to. What, what do you mean? Like the the saying that it's expensive. Like in comparison to what area? Like it, where do they come from? That's it. Yeah, well, from living in England, I can tell you right now that the pints in England are exponentially cheaper than yep. really? Belfast yep. by at least a pound. Yeah, like I remember uh, when I was over last, actually, uh, visiting my, my other half's family. Yeah. Um, a pint of Guinness in their local pub was three pound ninety. It was under four pound. You'd get that back home. It'd be, yeah, that's what then it would be Katie, back home. Yeah. Katie, you know, yeah. you'd get that. Like. So that's probably what they're comparing yeah. it to. They're comparing it to places outside of Belfast that Luton. maybe aren't as ex- expensive. There would be looting in Katie if pints went over four pound. <laughs> there would be looting. <laughs> Very know. specific. Be chairs thrown I, through um, I remember we were on a work trip in England and we went to this pub and it was thirteen pound for four pints. 13, holy fuck fuck. Or sorry, three pints. Three pints. Oh. So about thirteen pounds for three That's pints. So about, yeah. yeah. About four pounds a pint. Yeah. That's class. I yeah. can't even mind. What, what was it like in Manchester price wise? Dunno. I remember Manchester being f- fairly average yeah. for pint price. Definitely is not ex- as expensive as Belfast. Uh, it didn't really sh- it didn't really make me go buy. I think I suppose for a big city like that. I think yeah. four to six pounds. Like I think once it starts mm. getting up to seven, eight pounds, you're like this is oh. ridiculous. What is this yeah. made of? Then so you I've go down to Dublin. I've done some research. <sighs> oh, he's done some research. Mm. So, in sort of saying that the average, sorry, my bad. In saying that the average pint is around six five fifty to six pounds, mm-hmm. let's say. Have a guess on how much the average pint was this date ten years ago. Oh, ten years ago. 
here. Two pound in, in Belfast. Belfast. Ten years ago, twenty thirteen. I'd say four oh. four fifty. Yeah, yeah, about four pounds. Four pounds. Why did I immediately go to like nineteen hundred? Two pounds. <laughs> Two <laughs> shillings, sir. <laughs> Forty p <laughs> and a sheep. So um, this is only ten years ago. So you know, inflation's not that bad, and all the rest of it. Three pound twenty-two. Three pound twenty-two. Uh, fair play. So then, like the surrounding town right? areas, you've been getting probably in the two pounds, like like smaller towns, Pro- like at home. Probably. La. That's mental. Like, uh, if you go back to the year two thousand. <laughs> Instead of the end of the year 2000. Oh, it's like the millennium year. 280. 1.90. Fuck me. A pint. That's fucking brilliant. Yeah. You'd That's be out there every night. <laughs> so say we go to like mid 90s for like around when we were like born, right? Yeah. Have a guess. Mid 90s? All Belfast prices? Around when we were born. The prices are making you. It's surely like one pound. Like. Yeah, like a two pound? It's under a pound. <laughs> what, like that 80p? That can't be right. Like. 92 pence. When was this? Nineteen. This would would be nineteen ninety five. No wonder all our ma- all right, our parents it? were, uh, you know, chucking wins out. They're out getting steaming. Yeah, fuck us. Let man. loose, hey. Um, when were you born? Ninety seven. That was it. That was ninety p pints brought Shay along. Yeah. Fucking that was ridiculous. It. <laughs> two, yeah. p- two pints, one eighty. We were actually having this discussion the other day with my wee sister, and oh, about like, pints? No, not about pints. Like, but going into the shop and buying stuff like. yeah and i remember whenever we were kids like 5p would have got you something in the shop yeah mm. whereas now it's like 20p is the minimum like you get a freddo bar and like who the fuck's going in just to buy one freddo bar yeah like 10p might have got you two bags of like fives like yeah and then i think like my mum's generation like they would have went to the shop with 2p like and you'd come out with some stuff like a bag of sweets like. some stuff like. back yeah. in the day I remember yeah. getting a pound or something and then you get a fucking huge bag of sweets like. yeah now you get like one chocolate bar. I wonder what the salary increases are in line with that. Like, there's a salary increase that's this week. I was gonna say, I what know, what's minimum wage now? It's been announced at twelve like pound this week or something. Oh, for kids? For yeah, under 18s. Well, for under 18s, it's like four pound twenty. <laughs> yeah. Still like four pound twenty and getting you much here, like. I think over twenty five, only over twenty three. That's mad. You have to pretty, pretty much work two hours and you're getting a pint and have change for like two quid. Yeah, that's mad. Like, I know. Imagine you're driving a car. Oh all my that days! Age, I I filled up my car this morning. Sixty quid. Sixty quid. The average house price is in nineteen ninety. Sorry, the average salary in nineteen ninety five was nineteen thousand pounds. Yeah. Mm. What's that now? It says it's like twenty five k. Let's see. The average salary, did you say? Sorry, the average salary. Yeah, I think the average salary for twenty up to twenty five year olds at the minute is twenty four grand. A the year. average mm. salary amongst everybody is thirty four k. So it hasn't actually went up that much. Mm. Let's go. In comparison to the price of pints increase, prices of more more than what was it probably triple <laughs> yeah, tri- she's like but the wages have no triple. Like, <laughs> she's doing like a now, diagram if it's now <laughs> six price pound of, and it was 90 price pence, of pints yeah, price went up by six times yeah, yeah six, six times <laughs> and it hasn't, the wage hasn't even doubled what's my problem <laughs> She's going into job interviews. How much? What's your salary expectations? Will to be honest with you, mate. I'd be looking to work <laughs> at least three pints room. an hour. <laughs> yeah. The average house in the UK now, not Northern Ireland, the average UK house back then was fifty-five grand, and that includes London and everything. You wouldn't even get a house now for that, like. You wouldn't. Currently, the average house price <laughs> two hundred and ninety-eight thousand pounds. Oh, That's average. Dear me. So it's went up by six as well. So there we go. Everything's went up. So you can. Yeah. Yeah, everything Pints, sort of houses. went in line. <laughs> yeah, depends well, what you're, you know. The proportion of salary compared to, like, house prices and all, like, yeah. isn't really risen the same. Like. What mm. were people doing with their money back in the day? Should they fucking... Throwing it round. How could they spe- even get it spent in time? Mm. Throwing it round the night. Come at the end of the month and they'd be like, fuck, I need to get the, get rid of this. Like. I know. Mm. Whereas we're like, fuck, <laughs> I can't do it at the end of the month. Here, that's my mortgage is £30. Here. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> only got paid 500 quid last week <laughs> I'm sitting on 5 grand in the bank I need to fucking get rid of it like. anyway moving on am I the asshole here we go what have I got for you this week lads um, am I the asshole for telling my friends that my husband isn't well read oh. This I read this earlier on it's quite I, it's quite controversial so background, my husband, let's call him Will, is in the Navy and he works on nuclear reactors on submarines. That's We've fun. been together for four years and married for two. 
We were at a small house party with a few friends of mine from college and we were discussing books we've all read. When at one point one of my friends, let's call him Steve, asks Will, so Will, what's your favourite book? And my husband responds, oh, I really like To Kill a Mockingbird. Steve gives him a quizzical look and asks him, have you read any books outside of high school? And Will hesitates a bit and says, well, outside of my manuals at work, I guess I haven't. So then I try to explain to Steve, oh yeah, he's not well educated, so he's never had a reason to be well read. Jesus. We all had a good laugh, but then Will didn't really contribute a, a whole lot to the conversation the rest of the night. On the car ride back, Will was pretty quiet. I ask if he's fine, and all he says in a sarcastic tone is, Peachy. I ask him if I did anything to upset him, and he responds back, I don't know. I don't think I'm educated enough to properly explain myself. Burn. <laughs> I tell him I didn't tell my friends <laughs> my that day. he was unintelligent, just that he wasn't college educated. He accused me of minimising how hard his Navy schooling was by explaining that military education and college education are simply not the same. We continued to fight until we got home. I texted my sister about what happened and she called me an utter asshole and that I need to apologise and now I'm having second thoughts about how I handled this situation. Reddit, am I the asshole? Yes. She Categorically, asshole. yes. yes. She's she fucking out of him, like. 100% hung out the yeah. I hear that, also, that's the attitude, ridiculous the attitude of going your education's not yeah. as good as my education because yeah. I went to college yeah. fuck off yeah you're college educated but you lack common sense there's people like that that's though like, yeah. I hear yeah. that like people are like oh so, I, sorry I can, can, can I just go back to the start the husband works on nuclear reactors on submarines yeah. and she's about to go he's not well educated Sorry. He's like, Don't worry so, about it. He can sorry. just blow up half blow the fucking up. country. Yeah. Yeah. I have a very good degree and I can guarantee he's better educated than me. Yeah, exactly. In my, in my art degree. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Most of the successful people don't even go to college or university. Exactly. Either. That's so just, and, and as well as that, like, I think, like, I would say your boy, she probably felt like your guy, this guy, Steve, whatever it is. It's like, have you not read a book outside of college? Steve's probably a prat. But like, Steve's asked the question and then she's got insecure. I think it says more about her because yeah. she's insecure it's like oh my husband didn't go to college yeah, yeah. that's ridiculous she's in, like, she embarrassed by it like? he should be so like I would be like that's class yeah. like my husband works on a submarine on nuclear reactors like, he is do you know submarines can stay underwater for thousands of years that's just such without, a you comment to come out without with it, like. emerging again yeah because the nuclear reactor obviously the half life of it yeah you'll it's, not be going back it's up never ending like. yeah I'm you, you'll be going, going into work on Monday morning take this puppy down boys <laughs> don't what be bringing me back up again <laughs> oh, so I think we've all gathered the conclusion that yes um, can, I, can I just say that the, the the average salary of a technician that works on a nuclear reactor on a naval so is it navy? yeah navy yeah. on a naval submarine in the US right mm -hmm. the average of all and it goes up if you're there longer, is $120,000. Yeah, that's yeah. not bad. So he's earning decent dough. Yeah. Oh, no. And she's going, we didn't go to college. <laughs> so, like, oh, the salaries in America are pieces. crazy, though. Like, yeah, they are not hard. Like, people are, are, like, it seems like being on 100K isn't yeah. really a mad thing. No? Yeah. yeah. So here's another one for you. Am I the asshole for begging my girlfriend to uphold, uphold a sexist tradition? Just so she can make a first impression. No, uphold a what I tradition. A sexist. Right. Okay. Right. So this is this is the title. Am I the asshole for begging my girlfriend to uphold a sexist tradition just so she can make a good first impression? W when you typed the title of this, that probably should have been an indication that yeah. yes. So anyway, I'll get into it. I have a big family that's incredibly close. We have a big family dinner every few months where we all meet at my great grandfather's estate and eat together. Typically how this works is the women go cook for the time they're there and the men don't, which I'm fully aware is sexist. That being said, I am one of the youngest in my family and my protests mean literally nothing. Some of those women choose not to cook. However, this is usually met with a level of ostracizing. The women who don't cook are, la are wives and long-term girlfriends, so they kind of already have a good relationship with the family doctored in. When I have seen new partners not cook, it's gone relatively badly. Like, completely ostracized, not speaking, cattiness, rudeness, etc. This dinner will be in two weeks, and my girlfriend was asked if she would attend. Initially, she said yes, which was great. 
I want to I want her to meet everyone and for everyone to meet her, get used to her being around and like her, obviously. But when I explained to her that the tradition she was understand when I explained the tradition she was understandably bothered. I told her that I understood where she was coming from completely. However, it was best for everyone if she just played along. <laughs> I told her this isn't a permanent thing and that I am only asking her to do this so she can avoid the bad treatment from the rest of the family. This is her first impression and I don't think it's best that we cause waves. She told me that it's unacceptable that if she has to do that she will not be going but I've tried to find a compromise with her on this but she won't budge and she's pissed at me. She told me that if I think it's acceptable to make her do this I am just as bad as everyone else while my point is that she needs to make a good first impression. Am I the asshole? It's like a pure initiation mm. test, isn't it? With the sauce you out to get you in the kitchen, yeah. get it all hot know, and like, fucking put you on the butter knife. Like. I don't feel like it's as bad as it's being made out to be. Because, like, mm. Cause like if, in the grand scheme of things, if you think about it, like you're coming over to your, your like boyfriend's family's house and you're basically just being asked to help out. Like. Yeah, but do you want to make a good impression like, too? It's to start all the like? women. Yeah, I think the differ like the, the difference there is it's not being like asked to help out. It's like this is a tradition that we do that all of the women cook for all of the men. Yeah, that needs addressed. Yeah, I don't think it's the girlfriend coming in needs addressed. I think it's more like if he's the youngest and he's addressing it, and they're like, "No, nah, mate, it's grand. He should be going." Well, here I'm bringing my girlfriend over. She's going to meet us for the first time. Me and her will help you. And he should get involved as the man. He yeah. should be going. I'll get involved as well to try and balance out the levels of sexism. Yeah. But it just seems to me like he's like, oh, I won't be helping out, but you will. Yeah. That so I completely horrific. get where she's coming yeah. from. I imagine that was their first time meeting her, his yeah. parents, and you're just thrown into the deep end. It's like he's yeah. gone. You're separated. Yeah. You're on your own. Yeah. Now. It's a weird situation. Like. But every really fam- every family's different. Like. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But then, like, if you if your girlfriend came over to meet your family for the first time, you'd like to think that she'd probably be offering a hand to help yeah. and stuff yeah. like yeah. that. You and know, to like, like get involved, like yeah. not just sitting in the corner being like, oh, I don't I'm not agree helping with yeah. the sexist. No. But like, no. if you were, gr- were invited over, it just dinner, tends to like happen though. Too yeah. like you have to be honest. Like it does happen. People are too fucking extreme about it. Like, come on. Mm, yeah. You know, I'm but not it, saying I don't like the way it's put there. Yeah, fair enough. But like, yeah. like if your girlfriend, if you started going out and you're you're like, oh, your our parent, my parents have invited us over, and you coming over, you'd like to think you're the girl would be like, oh, do you need a hand, man? Yeah. yeah. But I'm not saying you should be like yeah. go into the I, kitchen. We're going yeah. to watch the football or whatever. Like, I yeah. think this guy is just so worried about her making a good impression that he's like preempting things that he shouldn't. But you would like be, not like, making like a big deal out of you know what I mean? It's yeah. like like if that was me and I was like here, like that's a bit sexist. Like you go, it's all the women go and cook and the lads all sit in and drink. And I'd be worried like, if you were worried about something like that. Like you should just not say anything and just come in and go here. Me and you know what's her face will go and help in the kitchen here, mm. and like like try to just make something out of it. Mm. But but it's also it was, a good opportunity for her to get to know the women and the family. Yeah, like, yeah. You know. <laughs> Tommy's like get in that kitchen, yeah, girl. I don't, <laughs> don't want to come across that way, but like yeah. if you put the shoe on the other foot, and I was like, your girlfriend's invited you over to dinner, and all the men go to the pub for like two hours, like, and he's like, I don't want to go. You'd be like, why are you being an awkward cunt, like? Yeah. Just go. No. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I suppose also thinking about it, like she's told him that she's not comfortable with it and he's turned around and went, Aye, but just do it yeah. anyway. It's just, a problem, yeah. but it's not a problem in this to not you know what I just mean? Don't go weird, it doesn't you know, he's he's kinda going I d I don't really care that you don't feel good about it. You're doing it. There seems to be a a theme running with these am I the assholes and it's communication. <laughs> Bros, communicate. You know what I mean? To learn how to talk to people. Yeah, like, get on. Say, with did it. they say anything that the more senior girlfriends don't cook? Oh. Yeah, some of the women who are like, <laughs> like more fucking initiation. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Like, that's kind of weird. Steal, like, like, some she helped with dinner last year. It's your turn now. Uh, yeah. Surely, like you'd rather have someone who maybe has more experience cooking like culinary you, yeah. to cook with you. Maybe the girlfriend needs to bring a CV in and be like, "I got a C in my home economics, yeah. so you'll be stepping into this kitchen." If she really likes him. 
and she's like wants to make a good impression i feel like he would do it like yeah, it yeah. just because like fucking it's not that bad like. i i think he's yeah. made a bigger deal out yeah. of than what it is it's not like she's being yeah. asked to do fucking yeah. something extreme like yeah. it, it could have said nothing yeah and then that's what i would have would have been like i would have said nothing and brought her and then they're like oh give us a hand here i've been like oh yeah i know big deal <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> on the way end oh, the, on be, the way end of the house girls on the way home <laughs> on the way end of the house tommy would just be like i've just bought you this apron i thought it would look really good on you <laughs> get in there well, that's really that's been blown out of before so yeah like. I hate that though I hate the whole sexist thing I feel like it's so fucking extreme now like mm. like I'm not saying women should make the dinner but like and there's families like it's normal like, yeah. and there's nothing wrong with that like. let people do what they yeah. want to do don't you know don't point fingers not, them, yeah. them women might enjoy cooking yeah. the food and exactly the might, uh, give, uh, maybe give their head a holiday from the but I naggy it, husband exactly it, you know it, it I mean? could be like just the, the way they get to know the girl like, like you get, yeah. them, get her on her own instead of the fucking yeah. Yeah, being giant to the hip of the boys. He planted the sexist seed, didn't he? He Mm. turned and goes, "Here, I know this is really sexist, but instead he could have just went here. All the ladies are going to cook. Do you want to help them out? Yeah, that's less bad than going. This is really sexist, but I want you to do it. Yeah, you know that's fucking stupid. (laughs) But um, if you're listening to this and you have your own opinions, let us know because I appreciate we are four men talking about this, and I'm sure you will. Don't want to get cancelled. But anyway, listen, uh, we'll wrap that up there, um, and we will see you in the next episode obviously this we we delved into quite a deep topic earlier on this episode so if you do need help and support please go to the link in the bio and you'll find all the useful information in there and we hope you enjoy it we'll see you in the next one cheers